Hi everyone, I hope you're okay. Today I'm doing a video which is five ways on how to up your blog photography and Instagram game. So today's video is inspired by some workshops that I went to last week in London. I went to some creative workshops which were held by Denon and their Light and Free range and they were all about kind of making you feel a little bit more inspired and making you want to kind of experiment a little bit more of your creativity and within the kind of workshops we did some collaging we kind of learned about colors and kind of different textures and like mood boards then we did fashion illustration and then finally we did some food styling and some recipe ideas and it was such a inspiring morning so what I thought I would do today is kind of take what I learned from those workshops. I also wanted to talk about some of my most used tips and tricks of how I kind of currently do my blog photos, Instagram photos, and hopefully I'll kind of put them all together and hopefully it'll be quite useful. And the first one that I've been asked quite a lot is how to take bright photos. So number one is try, a bit of a basic one, but try and take your picture near to as much natural light as you can. Try and take your picture next to a big window. I take my pictures next to the patio doors in the dining room because obviously I've kind of got this wall of window and light. So I've got as much natural light coming in as I possibly can. Recently, I bought a reflector, which is just here actually. Ta-da! I bought this from eBay. I think it was like six or seven pounds. And basically this will bounce the light back meaning that you'll kind of get brighter and less kind of shadowy photos. And I've actually shown two photos. So I will pop one here, which is without the reflector and one here, which is with the reflector. And as you can see, there's kind of less shadows in the one that has the reflector and it's definitely a little bit brighter. So I didn't change any of the settings on the camera. This is two exactly the same, but literally with and without the reflector. So it does make a big difference. And that was so, so cheap. So I definitely recommend getting one if you are struggling with natural light. Now, if you take a lot of photos on your phone, so say for your Instagram, then this is gonna be such a handy little hack. I learned this the other day and it blew my mind a little bit. So basically when you take your blog, your photo on your phone, you hold down, so like you focus and you get that yellow square. And if you hold it down, you should get a little kind of brightness symbol, which looks a little bit like the sun. If you hold your finger on the screen and take it up, it will alter the brightness. If you take it down, it brings down the dark, brings down the brightness and makes it darker. I couldn't believe it. I've literally had an iPhone for years and I didn't know that feature existed. Literally blew my mind and it makes such a difference being able to brighten the photos like that. So that's a really, really handy little tip for taking photos on your phone. And then finally, I had kind of pre a kind of editing tip is something that I also kind of figured out the other day is on the app Facetune. It's not just for blurring out your face and making spots disappear, but they have filters on Facetune and there is lighting filters. And if you go onto the Brighton one, I think it's called Brighton, it literally brightens up the whole photo without overexposing or anything like that. It just makes the whole photo brighter, lighter, whiter perfect so if i've got a really really dark photo i will put two or three of those lightning filters on top of each other and it makes the world of difference so they're two really handy hacks if you take a lot of photos on your phone the next thing is how to take pretty food photos and this is something that i am going to try and learn from myself so i learned this at the workshops that i went to with Danon, and samira who is an instagrammer she has got an instagram called alpha foodie i will link it down below because you should go check it out because her photos are amazing. I literally had to follow straight away. So she was showing us food styling ideas. Some of the stuff that she was saying was so, so simple, but so, so effective. My favorite tip that she said for making really pretty kind of smoothie photos was having some shape cutters. So you can get these from Amazon, eBay, very, very cheap. And basically what you do is you slice uh, your fruit very very thinly and then you put the shape cutter to make the shape and then stick it to a glass and it will just stay there then if you pop the smoothie in you will literally have this really really pretty smoothie it makes smoothies look so much more interesting than what they did before you could also put the fruit shapes on top of something so maybe on top of granola or on, you could even do it on top of salad I'm not really sure literally you could just play around with it 
The next one is how to get a good flat lay and this is something that I get asked quite a lot and taking a flat lay picture isn't as complicated as what you may think. I used to think flat lays were impossible but honestly they are not. You just have to kind of have the right technique and something that I have found full fail proof, is that right? No. I can't think of the right word, but something that I have found to work every single time when it comes to taking a flat lay is to make sure you get above the subject. So what I tend to do is I have like a big canvas and I have like big pieces of white card. I will put those down on the floor and then I will stand above the photo. So I'm about five, six feet above the photo and that is the perfect kind of height above it. If I'm taking photos on a table like I did at the event, I will stand on a chair. So you just want to make sure that you get some height above and then you'll be able to include everything in the photo and it looks really, really good. My next tip for blog photos would be to get creative with props. I used to take blog photos of just what I wanted to take a photo of. So if I was taking a photo of a lipstick, I literally just took a photo of the lipstick. And then earlier this year, I was like, no, I wanna start thinking outside the box a little bit. So I started to get a little bit more creative with what I used to put in the photos. So I really love incorporating props like sweets and food. Some really good prop ideas are also like fresh flowers, using books, magazines, sequins, glitter, fairy lights, there's so many things that you can use and they look really really cool and effective. The final thing is how to take good quality and in focus pictures and I used to really struggle with this because I'm quite a shaky person and I used to blame it on the camera, I used to think there was something wrong with the camera when in fact it was just me and I couldn't hold the camera still. Then my number one tip is to use a tripod and a remote. It's very simple but literally it makes a world of difference. What I tend to do is just obviously put my camera on the tripod, hold the remote, press them down and Bob's your uncle and you've got a really good quality picture straight away. Other things that I do try to do is if I have to say I'm getting like if I'm trying to take a photo on the floor so I can't really use my tripod or remote, what I will do is I will pop my camera onto like a two second timer so I'll press the button and then just literally hold it very very still until it takes the photo. So they are just a few tips that I have learned from the workshops and my kind of tips and tricks that I tend to do at home when it comes to blog and Instagram photos. So make sure you give the video a like if you did enjoy it and don't forget to subscribe if you aren't already to my channel and um, yeah I'm gonna go now but thanks all so much for watching. I'll link everything down below by the way everything that I kind of mentioned, the Instagram accounts and the kind of stuff that I use. I'll link it all down below for you so you can go check it out yourself but yeah Thanks for watching everyone. Bye.